As I alluded in a previous video, and something I've discussed in the forums, is how the Galar League and the Pokemon World Championships don't make any sense, at least the way they've been presented. This is because Raihan is not only a gym leader in the Galar League, but also in the Master 8 in the Pokemon World Championships in the anime. While it is technically possible that Raihan, Raihan is no longer the gym leader in the anime, We'll go with the simplest assumption and assume that he is, since I'm pretty sure Summaries has said that he's he, he relates to the Pokemon gen at some point. So anyway, so now let's go over the anime in general and how the games fit into it to explain my confusion of how they royally messed up the anime already and why I think the only way to rectify this is to include the Galar League into the Pokemon World Championships with presumably Raihan not being the actual gym leader, or rather the true gym leader, where his apprentice is the one who pe one is the one who fights other people to receive a badge, so to speak. Anyway, the games begin with a simple concept. You get you get eight badges and you enter the Pokemon League by challenging the Elite Four. The Elite Four, <laughs> not four. <laughs> And you enter the Pokemon League by challenging the Elite Four and then the Champion. Your rival and the first generation and random people in later generation. How did the anime follow this? Well, according to people who know Japanese, apparently the writers for the anime have no idea either. And what I mean is the original assumption was you get the eight badges, you win the anime-only style tournament to become champion of that tournament, so to speak, and then you have the right to challenge the Elite Four and Champion like it would be in the games. However, that's not actually what happens. In reality, the writers convoluted the issue so much that technically the Elite Four and Champions are completely separate from the badge quest. Thus, the writers have no idea what the hell they're even doing in their series. Now, technically, I could be wrong. I've always argued it was the former assumption, but people who speak Japanese corrected me. Maybe they didn't understand what I was saying, maybe I used the wrong words, maybe the assumption I got were, was that they were two separate things, or in, other writer, or in other words, the writers had no clue. Have no clue what they're doing. I, I, I don't know, but like I said, I was told that the Elite Four and Champions have nothing to do with the badge quest. If I'm wrong, <clears throat> then I'm blaming people who speak Japanese and apparently did not understand my point in regards to Lucian and any other Elite Four who mentioned the Pokemon League or whatever. See, and so anyway, so this was all ultimately fine for the generations because they all followed the same formula until 7th generation which opted to remove gym badges from the equation, but still hold the traditional game lore of Elite Four and technically a champion, only for the first time ever the champion was the player character, and Kukui in the games was the equivalent of red in the first games. However, you being blue and the player character means that unlike first generation, red was going to lose in this hypothetical example, and thus you don't necessarily beat the champion every time you challenge Elite Four, but rather you defend your title after defeating the Elite Four. What happened in the anime? Well, technically for the first time we sort of got a more accurate anime adaptation than the convoluted mess that we've had to deal with in the prior generations. In this context, in the games, as I said, you defeat the Elite Four to become Alola's first champion. In the anime, that's kind of what happened. Instead of an Elite Four, however, the anime we got went with the usual anime-style tournament, but the end result was that the same winner became the champion of the Alola League. To be clear, people who speak Japanese have said this weird, have said that this weird champion of the Elite Four or the Pokemon League is different than the supposed champion of the Alola League, also known as Ash is the Alola League champion, but apparently not comparable to Steven, Cynthia, Diantha, Alder, etc, etc. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's whatever. I don't know what the writers in the anime are doing. I don't know what they were doing. All I see it is some weird convoluted mess. 
However, the anime made it more like the games by having the biggest match in the seventh generation be between Ash and Kukui, which is what happens in the games when you become champion. Kukui challenged you to ensure that you are more than capable of being the champion, and then the game ends. It was an exact duplicated scenario since the Elite Four technically don't exist in the anime, and it was just an exhibition match and very much like a graduation a graduation ceremony for Ash being in school. But it was still very similar. Then Game Freak ruined everything with 8th generation, or rather the Galar region. And I don't mean in a bad way or good way kind of thing. I'm not saying they ruined that. The, the, what I mean is that they made it confusing even more. Because even though they brought back gym leaders, which, why would that be an issue? It's because they had decided to adopt the anime-style tournament that we're so used to in the anime. So you get eight badges, and you participate in the tournament until you challenge the champion. This is highly problematic because it not only removes the Elite Four members completely from the equation, it makes the games a bit more like the anime, in that when the player character gets all eight badges, they qualify for the Champion Cup, where in the finals apparently you could battle Raihan, B, Al Alistair, or Nessa. Presumably speaking, I don't have the game, so I don't know exactly how it is. I, I'm assuming Raihan is your first ever, but then when you go through the game again, maybe that's when you battle B, Alistair, or Nessa. I'm not sure. But anyway, the point is, then you're qualified for the championship with Leon. Normally, this wouldn't have been a problem, but then here comes the anime writers to just make an even bigger issue. By introducing the concept of Pokemon World Championships, where the strongest trainer apparently is Leon, and also having Raihan being in the Master 8, creates this weird power vacuum in the Gala region, ultimately implying that, well, no one should logically be able to complete the championships in the Gala region. The biggest issue is Raihan, but Leon is also somewhat of an issue, but less so. Now, the issue is, of course, the glary one, glaring one. If the, anime, if the anime is exactly the same, we would see Ash challenging Raihan and beating him and likely losing to Leon if this was truly status quo. The issue is, what does that say about Raihan? Remember, Raihan is the gym leader of the Galar region. Even if we assume Galar region has the strongest gym leaders of all other gym leaders, he's still a gym leader. There would just be a huge power vacuum between Ash challenging the first gym leader to Raihan. This is contra contradictory to Raihan technically being a champion level trainer, which is extremely odd because we know how strong Cynthia and the Elite Four have been depicted in the anime as unbeatable bosses with the exception of losing to the champion of the region, like Flint and Aaron losing to Cynthia, for example. But normal trainers could not compete. Now, while we can ignore the power level difference because Ash will likely have to challenge some of the master class trainers, even defeating Raihan eventually, we do have to suspend our disbelief and allow Ash to be just as strong as they are in this particular generation of the anime. But the problem is it all falls apart when we consider the Galar League is within the continuity of the anime. The theory going around was that Go would maybe start doing gems, but that creates an even bigger issue. How is Go supposed to believably beat Raihan for the final gem badge just to participate in the anime-style tournament that we are used to? And how would Go, for example, go about being as strong enough to defeat Leon even if we were to just magic hand wave go beating Raihan as just enough to get the badge, but not necessarily be at full strength. But then there's Leon. This is where the issue is even amplified even further. How are we supposed to take the concept of a strong enough trainer defeating Leon in the hypothetical championship match in the Galar region? Does that imply that the trainer is stronger than the Pokemon World Championship Leon? Either way you want to consider it, I can't imagine how game or and anime-wise Leon could be the champion of the Pokemon World Championships while also being the champion of the Galar League, or how Ryan is as strong as a champion-level trainer, but is also a gym leader. The issue here is Game Freak screwed up by removing the concept of an Elite Four. You disabled, for example, Raihan's opportunity to become an Elite Four member 
and unfortunately forced him to take the role of a generally strong trainer, that of a gym leader, but Ash has beaten all the gym leaders in other regions, with the exception of Galar, because it's the new region, the new generation, and the ones that have given him pity badges, and I guess technically Maylene. So, there's this huge gap in power, and thus it doesn't make any sense to me. They've never really brought up gym leaders holding back their strength. This was shown in Wolfric when he technically did go all out on Ash by using a Mega Obama Snow, while also having the gym leaders being super insane strong trainers, but Ash still was able to defeat them. Had the status quo still existed, Ash would have likely challenged Raihan and defeated him. But it's unlikely he would have been trained as champion level. And odds are, even if Raihan didn't go all out, and Ash would have probably lost at some point in the anime-style tournament, the anime would have been forced to probably have Ash challenge Leon anyway. So the contradiction that confuses me is that if the Galar League is separate from the Pokemon World Championships within the anime, then how is Raihan the gym leader, but also an opponent in the Champion Cup? presumably, while also being the champion level Pokemon trainer destined to lose to Leon, who is the champion of the Galar region, but also the number one trainer of the Pokemon World Championships. Do you see the confusion, or is it just me? If somehow anyone defeats Raihan for the league, or the champion cup Raihan, or likely Raihan would go all out if the argument was he was holding back in the gym, is there an inherent argument that because they defeated Raihan in the per Pokemon World Champions, implying such a trainer is Master Class capable? Or are they trying to argue that they would still hold back in the Galar League, but not the Pokemon World Championships? I don't know. The only resolution to this problem that I can see is that they make the Galar League a part of the Pokemon World Championships, and that anyone who challenges the Galar League has a specific rank in the Pokemon World Championships. Since most of the big matches take place in the Galar region and Dynamax Dynamaxing is a thing, it just makes sense that the Gal Galar League is just a big extension to the Pokemon World Championships, more so than any other regions which, based on their rules and the way the anime set it up, can be self-contained. Because while you're strong enough to defeat the enemy-style tournament after getting eight badges, that doesn't necessarily mean you're strong enough for the Elite Four and Champions of other regions. But with the Galar League, there's just this massive power gap causing my confusion here. The anime and Game Freak just complicated things, and I don't realize what horrible contradictions they've made. Keep in mind the games have always had limited due to their technical limits, and has always had this weird, weird idea with the strength of an actual trainer, or weird display of this actual trainer. After all, the player does just does defeat Giovanni multiple times through the playthrough of Kanto, and his Pokemon are at levels relative to the player and can be defeated. The anime created their own moralistic scenario on that, but then the Galar League just completely complicates things. If this possibility is true, what does it mean? Well, it means Go couldn't do the gym badge challenge because the Galar League would be too difficult for Go. Maybe defeating the early gyms, but then it just wouldn't be believable for him to defeat Raihan, even if it's just for a badge. Because even if Raihan were to hold back, is he really supposed to hold back during the Champion Cup and allow Go to challenge Leon? And if Leon does battle this hypothetical Go, is Leon holding back because it's not the Pokemon World Championships? Or is Leon holding out on both, or going out on all both? At least if the concepts were self-contained, Elite Four Raihan would be a shoe in for an Elite Four member, and thus would negate this entire issue to begin with, be be but because he's not a gym leader in this hypothetical example. But he's not an Elite Four, he's a gym leader. And as for Ash, even if he challenges the eight Galar gym leaders and wins, do they give him a badge to signify he deserves it, so at least Ash still ends up getting the badges? Or does it need to be an actual gym badge challenge? Though that would, that would, it would technically mean that it's not part of the Pokemon World Championships. At least if the Pokemon World Championships were part of the Galar League, or the Galar League was part of the Pokemon World Championships, they could justify Rahan being a gym leader, since he could just be an overpowered gym leader that no one can beat and 
thus everyone would have to be up in the master class or the rank below it. Or maybe I'm just overcomplicating things because now all of a sudden they would give Ash the proper strength and skill to defeat trainers like Cynthia despite how difficult it would have been in the past as they've been portrayed before. Or maybe I'm so confused that I'm not making any sense at all. Apologies if that's the case. Like I said, I'm just completely confused as to why both Game Freak and the anime overcomplicated things the way they did. W what do you think? Are you confused as I am? Do you see a solution to this problem? Do you even see a problem? Let me know in the comment section below. There's also one other thing that I neglected to mention in regards to Leon. If Leon is defeated in the championships match of the Galar League, what does that mean? I neglected to mention that up. I think I tried to put that in, but I messed up. But yeah, like, Leon is number one in the Pokemon World Championships, right? If Leon is defeated in the Galar League, in the Championship Cup, or whatever, the Championship Match, what does that mean? Was Leon going all out? Does that mean that trainer, if he were to go through the Pokemon World Championships, would that mean he has a chance of defeating Leon again? Again, I'm just absolutely confused. Anyway, that's it for this particular video. In the next video, I'll go over some of the new titles that were recently, well, within the past few weeks, that were released in spite of everything that's going on. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.